So welcome back to another video here in Pennsylvania. And we're searching for another plant in my edible and medicinal plant series. So out here on my landlord's property, just behind where I live. And we're looking out there in the swamp area. You probably see it out there. We're looking for skunk cabbage. I see quite a bit of it out there. Yes, there's looking out across the swamp. We have some garlic mustard here. But yeah, just look at all that, all skunk cabbage back there. I think there's some closer to the trail here, which I want to find. A slightly smaller leaf. Yeah, there's some growing right there. A little bit right there. I think I'm going to pull... I'm going to take a smaller leaf sample. Maybe we'll try to find a larger leaf somewhere too. Okay, so once again, this is skunk cabbage. And I should mention, this is the eastern skunk cabbage. There is a skunk cabbage that grows on the west coast as well. It's a bit different. I think it still smells like a skunk. So I did gather a little leaf, which you might try a little bit later. Here's what some of the bigger leaves look like, obviously. That one's got torn up a little bit. Of course, its scientific name, Fetid, it definitely has a that smell to it. That's what it's named after. And that word simple carpus refers to the flowers. Um, the flowers, uh, or the fruits, the fruits are kind of like a compound fruit, like an aggregate fruit. That's what that name comes from. So speaking of flowers and fruit, skunk, ca skunk cabbage does have both, although it's best known for its big giant leaves that kind of tend to take over a whole huge swampy area. I know back on the farm I grew up on, we had a whole swamp just full of these. But yeah, they're one of the first plants that come up in the spring though, and one of the first flowers that come up. Um, the flowers are not typical flowers. I showed them to you in a recent video, I think. There's like that little purple hood that comes up out of the ground, and inside there's like this little yellow ball. That's the flower, but it's multiple flowers all together. And in the fall, there's like this black fruit. Not something that you could eat, but it's there. But like I said, they're best known for the big cabbage like leaves that indeed smell, smell like a skunk. That's where it gets its name from. All right, so as far as edibility goes, you are supposed to be able to eat the young leaves. That's why I picked a young one. I've tried it in the past. When they're young like this, they don't quite have as bad of a smell. And they're also lacking what makes them uh, not good to eat as an adult, the calcium oxalate. That's what the leaves contain. It's like a, it's almost like an acid. It can, uh, it can burn, not like horribly burn, but it can cause your lips, your mouth, your throat to swell up or get kind of like a burning sensation to them. I think I've told this story too once where on the farm, I, I fenced in an area that had skunk cabbage. I had goats back then and one goat ran into that new fence area. Like he saw the skunk cabbage, thought it was some big juicy green thing to eat. Took one bite of it, and spit it out immediately because it was giving that burning sensation in the goat's mouth. But the young leaves supposedly don't have that. And I have eaten some of the young leaves in the past and I didn't really get any kind of a burning sensation, but the adult plant, the adult leaves like this definitely would. I'm not gonna try one of these. And some people can get even like a, like a burning sensation on their hand if you're sensitive to stuff like that. So in a moment, I will nibble on this young leaf. I do have some Propel <laughs> to wash it down with it if, if it tends to not be uh, too palatable. Ta palatable. Um, I have read that when it comes to even the adult leaves, that supposedly if you boil them, you know, several times, you know, change the water several times and dry them, that they are edible. Um, I did watched one video where someone tried that and they, they said they were still horrible so I don't know you can if you choose to do that do so at your own risk I guess but anyway let's try yes I'm eating skunk cabbage you know there's no burning sensation like I said it's a young leaf taste isn't I wouldn't say the taste is good but just tastes like a green leaf in some ways. I wouldn't necessarily eat a lot of it, but uh, but there you go. I think that's as much as I'll eat. I'm not gonna risk it anymore. All right, yeah, I don't really feel anything. But like I said, if I tried the adult leaf, I probably would. <clears throat> you come to think of it, there maybe is like a little sensation there. But anyway, there you go. But to be honest, if you boiled it first, you know, cooked it, it'd probably be better to drink a little bit of Propel. Yeah. Anyway. And also, I did read that it was used as a seasoning, in some cases, by the Native Americans. I'm not sure how they did that. Skunk cabbage as a seasoning, but that's something I came across. I'm not suggesting that you should do it. But yeah, I'll say it now. Where did my little leaf go? 
I lost my little leaf. Anyway, before you partake of skunk cabbage, or it's all up there, before you partake of skunk cabbage or anything else, I'm going to talk about the medicinal properties here next. Make sure you do your own research first. Don't just take my word for it or anybody else's, because, you know, people could be wrong and you could get yourself hurt by um, taking the wrong advice. So just keep that in mind. So let's talk about some of its medicinal qualities. And some of these are actually still being looked into here in modern times. Um, so here's a few off bat, some nervous disorders and respiratory issues. So nervous disorders, it is an anti-spasmodic, which means it helps to stop muscle spasms. And I've heard it's been used for like epilepsy and different things like that. And then the respiratory issues, and I came across, uh, one person said it's used for phlegm evacuation, <laughs> which is kind of an interesting way of putting it, just to help loosen up, you know, snot inside you. I think one site said for like people suffering from asthma, different things like that just to help free things up but I like the, I like how they put it you know phlegm evacuation so there you go I'll write down a few other things here next yeah some other respiratory issues I came across that it was used for was like like a, you know constant coughing or bronchitis some sources said it was used for rheumatism and, and a disease called dropsy as well but anyway here's a whole list of some other things maybe here's a quiz for you if you remember we talked about some of these in the past a diaphoretic, something that causes sweating. A diuretic makes you pee. What's an emetic? An emetic is something that makes you vomit. An expectorant is something that makes you poo, basically. And then a narcotic is something that gives you a calm, relaxed feeling. So those are different things, different qualities that the skunk cabbage root. I think the root is the main medicinal part that they use. But once again, I'll emphasize, if you do try to use a skunk cabbage in any way, Edible or medicinal, like I said before, just be careful, do your research, because it does have some potent qualities to it, besides the fact that it can cause, if some people, you know, severe irritation to the mouth and stuff, and, you know, the, the, the qualities of roots, those medicinal qualities of the roots can be pretty powerful too, and it can cause harm if not used correctly, so just be careful. But there you go, there's the, the lowly skunk cabbage. You know, some people just, you know, take a whiff of it and like, ugh, and you know, it, that's what it's known for, but it does have some other qualities to it as well the lowly skunk cabbage there you go folks but i think we'll find a few more plants out here like i said i'm kind of interspersing these videos in with others so i'm not like uploading like five of these videos all in a row so i'll see you in a bit probably as i try to find another plant out here to do a video on